Episode 56 FB June 11, 2023 The Air Gen, Kamala Harris's Fireplace Problem and Canadian Wildfire News Issue Residents Against Wood Smoke Emission Particulates, CRAWSE Presidents.wordpress.com and click on the nearest right icon for the latest month, June 2023, of PDFs of articles with URLs to search on, to the right of that, bingo for ROSEP, crosswords for ROSEP, end wood smoke jeopardy and end wood smoke monopoly games with a ROSEP flyer, the untwisted game and icon links to 30-minute YouTube videos and Spotify podcasts as well as podcasts on Amazon Music Prime, free for Prime subscribers. Podcasts.google.com, CastBox, and Pocket Cast. Pocket Cast is only free on the phone app. Pocket Cast works on Apple phones. And, below those icons, icon links to monthly PDFs of articles with URLs to search on, from May 2023 to May 2022. Air Gen. In our continuing search for alternatives to residential wood burning, a new method of generating energy is being discussed in the week, a weekly news aggregator magazine in their June 16, 2023, issue on page 21 in an article titled Harvesting Energy from the Air. Excerpts edited by Razap for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates. Scientists have found a way to generate clean energy from the humidity in air. Just as the water droplets in a cloud can produce a lightning bolt, the air-powered generator, or air gen uses ambient moisture to generate electricity. The air gen is a thin film dotted with tiny holes called nanopores. When water in the air passes through the holes, it creates an electrical charge imbalance, forming a constantly running battery. Stacking more than one air gen may amplify the power of one air gen. Razep view, so, this is a battery, a tiny battery, which complements the usage of a very large, very heavy battery for storage, the iron air battery which could be used to charge electric cars and to power the electric grid for up to 72 hours if there was a power blackout of that time period from wind, solar, or geothermal sources. The Iron Air Battery is an innovation described in the PBS documentary Chasing Carbon Zero. Air Gen could be stacked on top of each other, with a billion taking the space of a refrigerator, which could partly power a home. What follows is a URL for Air Gen published on February 28, 2020. https newoutlistcom energy air gen water vapor electricity Airgen Tech Harvests Humidity to Generate Electricity February 18, 2020 An illustration depicting the protein nanowire film, with one of the electrodes visible at top. UMass Amherst, Slash Yao, and Lovely Labs Excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates. We've already heard about so-called fog harps that use thin wires to collect airborne water droplets, providing drinking water even in arid regions. Well, an experimental new device also uses wires to capture water vapor, although it proceeds to generate electricity. At the University of Massachusetts Amherst, the air-powered generator, or air gen, incorporates a film made of nanowires. That film is sandwiched between two flat rectangular electrodes, although the one on top covers only part of the film, leaving the rest exposed to the air. Produced by the bacteria Geobacter, the nanowires are made of an electrically conductive protein. Because of this quality, along with their surface chemistry and the small size of the pores between them, the wires generate an electrical current between the two electrodes whenever they absorb water vapor from the air. This is described in the journal Nature. Several years ago, MIT developed a system that generated electricity utilizing ambient water vapor, although it incorporated a series of water-repelling and water-attracting conductive plates. Heat pumps https colon slash slash www.utilitydive.com slash news slash heat dash pump dash sales dash topped dash gas dash furnaces dash united dash states slash six five two two seven seven slash question mark fbc lid equals
U.S. residential heat pump sales pass gas furnaces for first time as interest in efficiency tech surges, IEA. June 7, 2023. Excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates. Global energy demand rose 1% in 2022, but the rate of energy efficiency improvements was double the average of the past five years boosted by surging sales in more efficient technologies like heat pumps and electric vehicles, the International Energy Agency said in a report Wednesday. In the United States last year, residential heat pump sales exceeded gas furnaces for the first time, making up 53% of heating system sales. Sales of electric vehicles grew 55% last year in the United States, and in the first quarter of this year made up more than 7% of new car sales. Globally, EVs made up 14% of new car sales in 2022 and could reach 18% this year, IEA said. Retreat from International Energy Agency United States The fact that Kamala Harris described her fireplace as a problem and how she described the problem, was so nice we are giving you the URL twice. Kamala Harris appeared on the Stephen Colbert show in the spring of 2023, and described a problem which ended with her vice presidential office being clouded with wood smoke from a fireplace, making it temporarily uninhabitable. The story starts at minute 2.20 at this URL https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch question mark b equal sign xxmkn6 eldic razep has also similarly gushed about Venn diagrams, like Kamala Harris was captured on film doing. HTTPS colon slash slash www.newyorktimes.com slash 2023 slash 06 slash 06 slash magazine slash vice dash president dash gaffs dot html hash sign comments container. Why are the language police obsessed with vice presidents? They make countless public appearances that will be mostly ignored unless there's something to poke fun at. June 6, 2023. Kamala Harris delivered a speech on April 25th at Howard University, saying, I think it's very important, as you have heard from so many incredible leaders, for us, at every moment in time, and certainly this one, to see the moment in time in which we exist and are present, and to be able to contextualize it, to understand where we exist in the history and in the moment, as it relates not only to the past but the future. Razep View as a proponent of the descriptive, inclusive, run-on sentence that closely resembles the way real humans speak, Razep loves the way Kamala Harris speaks. Kamala Harris also often finds humor amid the pathos she experiences on a regular basis. Finding humor within dry subjects is almost universally seen as a mark of intelligence. Kamala Harris finds the humor while performing her duties as Vice President of the United States. Excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates. Harris's public utterances are sometimes intentional wordplay. Consider these lines from March, during Women's History Month, we celebrate and honor the women who made history, throughout history, who saw what could be, unburdened by what had been. Harris's pauses make her intentions clear. Last year, she took flack for describing herself, at the start of a meeting, as a woman sitting at a table wearing a blue suit, which seems less odd once you learn that she was speaking about the anniversary of the signing of the Americans with Disabilities Act and seeking to accommodate visually impaired people. If Harris is searching for an inspirational VP story, she needn't look far. Biden's time in the office actually helped burnish a goofy charm he was seen not just as folksy or avuncular but, in some corners, paradoxically cool. The Onion spent those years crafting a satirical version of him as a guy who might be found in a White House driveway, shirtless, in jean shorts, washing a trans AM. This is the woman seen, in some clips, singing wheels on the bus at a campaign vehicle and then cackling with laughter, or gushing about Venn diagrams. 
One Twitter user racked up likes by positing that her meandering sentences resemble the dense philosophy of Friedrich Hegel. The problem, she does prosecutorial better than endearing cartoon. In a viral eight-minute clip from 2019, she was said, in the exaggerated parlance of televisual conflict, to have demolished Attorney General William Barr during a Senate hearing following the publication of the Russian interference report by Robert Mueller, the special counsel. Has the president or anyone at the White House ever asked or suggested that you open an investigation of anyone, she opens. It seems you'd remember something like that and be able to tell us, she prompts. She speaks pointedly, directly, repeating herself only for emphasis. In clips like this, she seems to thrive on confrontation, on pursuing opponents until they're the ones grasping for a cogent response. I find it off-putting to just engage in platitudes, she said in one interview with The Times, that shows. News Stories Razap View, Residents Against Wood Smoke Emission Particulates Think It Is Important to Note the Following News Story from Toronto, Canada. The Mayor of Toronto, Canada, while Canadian wildfires rage encourages burning wood to produce energy, and the Mayor of Toronto has made wood burning a pillar of the new, absurdly named, green economy. Burning wood itself creates conditions conductive to further climate change and therefore further wildfires. Burning wood for energy emits the same pollution as wildfires emit, including more CO2 and particulates, PM2.5, than coal burning emits. PM2.5, particulate matter of 2.5 micrometer size, is the perfect size to infiltrate the human lung, producing a cascade of human health problems and early deaths. Wood burning is 90% PM2.5. While fires rage, Doug Ford announces program to burn more wood, the Toronto Star. The Toronto Star. The Doug Ford government has taken a climate-threatening practice, burning wood to make energy, and made it a pillar of the new green economy. Arizona. Arizona, Phoenix. Even with pollution advisory, Phoenix still has better air than East Coast AZ Central. AZ Central, the advisory places restrictions on wood burning in residential areas of Maricopa County and prohibits the use of leaf blowers. Arizona, Phoenix. Massive pallet fire burning in Phoenix, YouTube. YouTube. Firefighters are battling a massive pallet fire burning near 35th Avenue and Buckeye. DIY wood burning technique, that's not show Sugi ban. California. United States, Fortune Magazine. New Yorkers are getting a face full of California-style wildfire ash, thanks to hundreds of, Fortune. Fortune the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency said hazy skies, reduced visibility, and the odor of burning wood are likely, and that the smoke will. California, Ellisville. Businessman pitches Ellisville leaders on plan to burn, dispose of downed limbs, news. Laurel Leader Call Scott Kelly proposed his renewable wood solution at the Ellisville City Board meeting to seek its approval for a potential partnership with his. That produces considerably less smoke than most wood-burning machines. Colorado Colorado, Boulder County, Loveland, Marshall Fire Boulder County authorities, Marshall Fire started with two separate fires, no criminal charges. Loveland Reporter Herald. The first fire, the burning of scrap wood and tree branches, had been that the residents intended to let the fire burn out and bury it. Colorado. Smoke in the air? Beware, and don't trust your nose, Colorado State University News. Colorado State University News. Smoke generally loses the smoke smell over the course of about a day. If you're near the fire, it smells like a campfire, that wood-burning smell. Connecticut, Norwalk, The Hour Most garden plants will bounce back from exposure to smoke and ash. How to care for, The Hour The Hour Smoke from wildfires that has polluted the air across swaths of the Bess Kaba, the owner of Sona Wood Fired in South Norwalk, heats up a 
smoke from hundreds of wildfires burning in Canada drove down air quality. Unhealthy air quality, ct.gov. ct.gov. Health effects of PM 2.5 air pollution. When air quality reaches unhealthy levels, individuals with respiratory or heart disease, the elderly. Georgia. Georgia PSC reverses course, pulls support for plan to burn tires to produce energy. Georgia recorder exhaust from Georgia Renewable Power's wood-burning biomass plant in Madison County prompted state legislators to pass a law in 2021 against Illinois, Alton. Canada wildfires are leading to air quality alerts in U.S. Here's how to stay safe Alton Telegraph. Alton Telegraph, the EPA said hazy skies, reduced visibility, and the odor of burning wood are likely, and that the smoke will linger for a few days in New England. Indiana Indiana, Fort Wayne Wildfire smoke prompts air quality action days for entire state Wayne 15. Wayne 15. Avoid burning wood in fireplaces or wood-fired boilers and any other unnecessary fires. Reminder, Indiana's open burning laws make it illegal to burn. Indiana 105 Air Quality Alert for Indiana due to wildfire smoke. Indiana. Air quality action days issued throughout Indiana due to Canadian wildfires CBS4. CBS 4 IDM encourages Hoosiers to reduce creating fine particle pollution by avoiding burning wood in fireplaces or wood fired boilers or any. Indiana. Item issues air quality action days this Thursday and Friday. Register publications. Register publications avoid burning wood in fireplaces or wood fired boilers and any other unnecessary fires. Reminder. Indiana's open burning laws make it illegal to burn. Indiana. Maryland. Maryland, Talbot County, Easton. Boxes near wood stove ignite, fire damages garage, news, stardem.com. Star Democrat. Easton, combustible materials next to an active wood burning stove started a fire that damaged a detached garage Tuesday in Easton. Massachusetts. Massachusetts, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. QNA, are far reaching fires the new normal? MIT News. MIT News, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Selen. The pollutant of most concern in wildfire smoke is fine particulate matter, PM2.5, fine particles in the atmosphere that can be inhaled. Massachusetts, Worcester. Here's what you need to know to stay healthy as wildfire smoke descends on Worcester. Worcester Telegram With wildfire smoke and its tiny particles, you can't judge the risk just by. When you breathe air with wood smoke in it, you inhale the fine. New Hampshire, Public Radio NH could still be affected by Canada's wildfire smoke, experts say NHPR. NHPR but she said people also need to be aware of keeping their indoor air clean. She said, when indoors, people should not smoke, burn wood, incense, or New Jersey. New Jersey, North New Jersey. North Jersey, NYC air quality hits rare red alert as Canada wildfire smoke takes toll. NorthJersey.com Much of New York and North Jersey was shrouded by the smoke and residents could detect a strong odor of burning wood throughout the region. The Smoke New Jersey, Rockaway Smoke on the water, and everywhere else, the wave, Rockaway. The wave, Rockaway. There were no smells of wood burning getting through the mask. Then I took the mask off to enter my car. In the few seconds it took. New Mexico, Albuquerque the U.S. and Canada saw dangerous smoke this week. It's a routine peril for many, K-O-A-T. Coat. Fine particulate matter, sometimes denoted as PM 2.5, refers to airborne particles or droplets of 2.5 microns or less. That's far smaller than a human. New York. Air quality warnings issued across much of New York for Canada fires. 
it'll likely persist. RecordOnline.com Another plume has started to move downstate from north-central New York, where there were unhealthy levels of PM 2.5. Subscriber Exclusive News New York, Rochester What to know about an air quality advisory, Health Hive Health Hive Rochester Regional Health PM 2.5 comes from many different types of particles, including, but not. People who are exposed to higher levels of fine particulate matter might. New York, New York City New Yorkers should wear face masks outside in smoky air, NYC says, Lohad. Lohad. State officials have warned residents about breathing in fine particulate matter, or PM 2.5 derived from the fires that can be hazardous. New York, Syracuse Central New York under thick haze of smoke from Canada wildfires Syracuse.com Syracuse.com, there was also a smell of burning wood in the air. James McClendon, J. McClendon at Syracuse.com Downtown Syracuse rests under a thick haze of smoke. New York, New York City New York City air quality reaches dangerous levels due to Canadian wildfire smoke. ABC7 New York smoke from hundreds of wildfires burning in Canada continues to create dangerous, reduced visibility and the odor of burning wood are likely. New York, us we go. When will the smoke clear? Expect some relief by tomorrow, says meteorologist WRVO. WRVO would smoke can put individuals who are immunosuppressed at increased risk for respiratory infection. At UR underscore med pulmonologist and air pollution. France. Smog from Canada wildfires blankets, New York, France 24. France 24, in Central Park, said his eyes and throat had been stinging from the harmful haze, which he likened to the smell of a wood burning fire. New York, New York City. ER visits spike amid wildfire smoke, asthma, breathing problems, New York Post. New York Post. The pollutant of greatest concern during wildfires is called PM 2.5, or particulate matter that's 2.5 microns wide or smaller. Image of New York City. New York, New York City. NYC Air Quality. The latest data, maps, and charts, Gothamist. Gothamist. Asthma-related ER visits in NYC Air Quality Index, real-time across the U.S., the EPA's Guide to Air Quality Levels, Particulate Matter 2.5, PM 2.5. New York. Wildfire smoke from Canada is choking New York. What is the health impact? The Quint. The Quint. Firstly, wildfire smoke contains elements like chemicals, metals, plastics, and PM 2.5 particles, which are not the healthiest to inhale. United States, Northeast Capitalist greed drives increasing wildfires seen in Northeast U.S. Liberation News Liberation News And the air was thick with the smell of burning wood. In Syracuse, New York, where the smoke was worst on June 6, school districts canceled. North Carolina DQ forecasts code red or orange air quality for all NC on Wednesday. NCDQNC.gov DAQ monitors and forecasts ozone and PM2.5 daily using the Air Quality Index, AQI, along with the corresponding AQI color codes, to help North. North Carolina. Code Red, today's air is unhealthy if you enjoy breathing NC Newsline. NC Newsline The NC Department of Environmental Quality issued the alert based on levels of very fine particulate matter, known as PM 2.5. PM 2.5, which is North Carolina, Wake County. Update, some NC counties forecasted to have code orange air quality on Friday. NCDQNC.gov. Localized, but very high fine particulate matter readings in Wake County. 
As weather pushes more smoke away from North Carolina, PM2.5 and ozone, the rest of the state is forecast in the code yellow range for fine particulates, also known as PM2.5. Additionally, Mecklenburg and Union. North Carolina, Greensboro. Campfire vs. Wildfire Smoke, WFMY News 2. WFMY News 2. The EPA explains it this way. The smoke from burning wood is made up of particulate matter. This is solid and liquid droplets, and they can be made either way. It's wood smoke, and the EPA says it's not good for you. Consumer Reports looks at smokeless fire pits. Ohio Ohio, Columbus Ohioans advise to take precautions due to poor air quality from Canadian wildfires. The State House News Bureau Avoid using candles, gas, propane, wood-burning stoves, fireplaces, and aerosol sprays. Frying or broiling meat, smoking tobacco products. Ohio, Wood County. Wildfire smoke reaches Ohio, don't panic, but be aware of effects on at-risk populations. BG Independent News. But the particulates from the wildfires in Canada and Michigan are looming in the air locally even if they can't be seen, explained Wood County. Ohio, Cleveland, Fox 8 News. Air Quality Alert, the latest smoke forecast, Fox 8 News. Fox 8 News. Purchase air purifiers for rooms you spend the most time in, stay inside, wear an N95 mask, don't burn candles or use wood-burning stoves, avoid. Ohio, Cincinnati, WCPO. Particulate matter from wildfire smoke triggers air quality alert in region WCPO. WCPO. Avoid using candles, gas, propane, wood-burning stoves, fireplaces, and aerosol sprays. Frying or broiling meat, smoking tobacco products. Ohio, Mahoning. What Ohio health officials are saying about the smoke from Canadian wildfires. Mahoning matters. Other precautions include, spend time in a room you can close off from outside air. Avoid using candles, gas, propane, wood-burning stoves, fireplaces. Pennsylvania Pennsylvania, Philadelphia Health Department recommends residents take precautions due to wildfire smoke. Philadelphia.gov This is one of the pollutants that the Health Department monitors during large fires in Philadelphia. PM 2.5 are tiny particles in the air that reduce. Pennsylvania, Philadelphia. Canadian smoke is filling Philly skies and is expected to persist through Wednesday. Philadelphia Inquirer, the smoky smell, was so evident that Montgomery County reported a significant number of 911 calls about a burning odor. By Anthony R. Wood. Pennsylvania, Philadelphia. Thinking about going outside? Here's what to know about the risks from breathing wildfire smoke. Philadelphia Inquirer The particles in the air, known as PM2.5, are particularly dangerous because they are small enough that they can travel deep into the lungs and Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, WHYY How wildfires and climate change impact headache and migraine symptoms, WHYY WHYY the particulate matter found in wildfires, known as PM2.5, is even smaller than a strand of hair, and is more robustly associated with adverse. Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh The U.S. and Canada saw dangerous smoke this week. It's a routine peril for many. Pittsburgh Post-Gazette 2.17 p.m. Washington, thick, smoky air from Canadian wildfires made for days of misery. Fine particulate matter, sometimes denoted as PM 2.5. Rhode Island. Air quality alert extends to Friday as smoke and haze remain ABC 6. ABC 6. Significant haze, reduced visibility, and the smell of burning wood have been present while orange skies have affected areas like New York City. Rhode Island, Providence, ABC 6. 
Canada wildfires lead to air quality alerts in U.S. Here's how to stay safe ABC News. ABC News, June 6, 2023, 12.01 p.m., including the detection of fine particle pollution, known as PM2.5, which can irritate the lungs. Texas. Texas, Fort Worth. How a DIY air cleaner with Fort Worth roots can help during wildfire season. Fort Worth Star-Telegram Wildfire smoke contains tiny particles known as PM2.5, which can cause to clean the air of any type of particulate matter, whether it be from Virginia, University of Virginia, UVA Best health advice for smoky skies, stay inside and wear a mask when outdoors. UVA Today, the University of Virginia the major component to both the poor visibility and health problems associated with wildfires is fine particulate matter, measured as PM2.5. This is Washington, D.C. Reuters Though a smell of burning wood lingered, the skies were brighter on Thursday morning than on Wednesday, but as evening approached, the haze. United States, Washington Post What's in wildfire smoke? The Washington Post. The Washington Post. The particulate matter, solid particles and liquid droplets, wildfire smoke will likely be the dominant source of PM2.5 particles in the U.S. Washington, D.C. Why wildfire smoke turns the sky orange, according to science, the Washington Post. The Washington Post. The particles are the residue of the wood, leaves, and pine needles that burned in Canada. Some of the particles are large, but most are microscopic. As Canadian wildfires poured smoke plumes over the United States this week. Washington, D.C. The U.S. and Canada saw dangerous smoke this week. It's a routine peril for many. WODTV.com WODTV.com Washington, AP, thick, smoky air from Canadian wildfires made for days of misery in New York City and across the U.S. Northeast this week. United States, Great Lakes Wildfire smoke can harm human health, even when the fire is hundreds of miles away. Great Lakes now Being exposed to wood smoke won't independently cause someone to have a heart attack, but if they have underlying risk factors. United States Northeast Northeast Low air quality across U.S. Northeast due to Canada wildfires, what to know, time Time June 6, 2023 Including the detection of fine particle pollution, known as PM2.5, which can irritate the lungs. Hazardous air chokes Northeastern States NASA Earth Observatory NASA Earth Observatory the fine particulate matter, PM2.5, in this pollution is small enough to enter the lungs and can lead to health problems. United States, Southeast John Dyke Show and Shine brings vehicles and spectators to ECS, discoverastavon.com discoverastavon.com Smoke could make a comeback in the Southeast over the weekend. Wood Burning Calendar ICO Wednesday, June 7, 7 p.m. United States Media United States, ABC News Here's how to stay safe from wildfire smoke amid reduced air quality ABC News. ABC News, the CDC advises people avoid using candles, gas, propane, wood-burning stoves, fireplaces, or aerosol sprays, and don't fry or broil meat. United States, AP News Service For many cities around the world, bad air an inescapable part of life, AP News. AP News, fine particulate matter, sometimes denoted as PM2.5, refers to airborne particles or droplets of 2.5 microns or less. That's far smaller than A. United States, The Guardian Tens of millions under air quality alerts in U.S. as Canada fire smoke drifts south, pollution. The Guardian, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, said hazy skies, 
reduced visibility, and the odor of burning wood are likely, and that the smoke will. United States, NASA Earth Observatory Canadian Smoke Update Wildfire Today Wildfire Today For Ottawa on June 7, AirNow sensors identified a hazardous air quality index, AQI, in the 400s for PM 2.5, particulate matter that is 2.5. United States, Nature Magazine Regional source apportionment of trace metals in fine particulate matter using an nature. Nature. An observation-constrained hybrid model is developed to resolve regional source contributions to trace metals and other primary species in PM2.5. In. United States, PBS. How wildfire smoke can threaten human health, even when the fire is hundreds of miles away, PBS. PBS fires in Canada have sent smoke across several U.S. states. Being exposed to wood smoke won't independently cause someone to have a heart. United States, Red Cross What you should do as Canadian wildfire smoke moves across parts of U.S. Red Cross. Red Cross Smoke from wildfires burning in Canada is moving into parts of the U.S. Avoid using candles, gas, propane, wood-burning stoves, fireplaces. United States, Reuters. U.S. East Coast blanketed an eerie veil of smoke from Canada fires, Reuters. Reuters, the air, smelled like burning wood. Wildfire smoke has been linked with higher rates of heart attacks and strokes, increases in emergency room. United States, U.S. News. Smoke from Canadian wildfires blackened skies, prompts air quality alerts in much of U.S. USnews.com exposure to elevated levels of fine particulate matter, PM2.5, can also worsen medical conditions such as asthma and heart disease. United States, Voice of America, VOA. U.S. states under air quality alerts as Canadian smoke drifts south, VOA. VOA. Smoke from the hundreds of wildfires blazing in eastern Canada has drifted, cities were uniform gray, and the air smelled like burning wood. United States, YouTube Smokeless fire pits, no wood fire smoke is good for you YouTube. YouTube What's the difference between this wildfire smoke and the campfire smoke we sit around to do our esmores? The answer is, what's in the smoke of? Canada, British Columbia, Wood Buffalo National Park. Fire grows near Pine Lake, in Wood Buffalo National Park, CBC News. CBC. Crews are working to limit the spread of a wildfire burning near Pine Lake in Wood Buffalo National Park on June 1, 2023. Canada, CBC. Rain giving Hamilton an area reprieve from wildfire smoke, Environment Canada, CBC. CBC. The third one, the pollutant that's been concerning us for the past few days, is PM2.5, particulate matter at 2.5 microns or less, Ching said. Canada, CNBC. Some delivery workers biked 50 miles in the thick of the NYC wildfire smog, it's an ominous feeling. CNBC. Wood says that free personal protective equipment would have made a difference. But he also notes that the wildfire smoke is just one example of Canada, Toronto. While fires rage, Doug Ford announces program to burn more wood, the Toronto Star. The Toronto Star. The Doug Ford government has taken a climate-threatening practice, burning wood to make energy, and made it a pillar of the new green economy. United Kingdom, Drax. Drax faced with UK biomass sustainability investigation and US pollution notice as Selby. The chemical engineer. And, when burned, wood releases far more carbon into the atmosphere than burning coal, say almost 800 scientists who called for restrictions on. United Kingdom, Staffordshire. Staffordshire firefighters warn wood burner owners after accidental blaze, Express and Star. Express and Star. Station manager Duncan Cole said, If you're burning wood, make sure that it is completely dried. 
Don't burn unseasoned, wet, soft, or tantalized. China, Jiangsu. The interactive effects of extreme temperatures and PM 2.5 pollution on mortalities in Jiangsu. Nature. In spite of the decreasing air pollution level, fine particulate matter, PM 2.5, is still related to the largest amount of premature death worldwide. India, Kolkata. PM 2.5 count in Kolkata air rises by 85% in a year, lens on emission and biomass burning. Times of India. The alarming statistics compared the data of particulate matter, PM. 2.5 microns, considered the most toxic of air pollutants, collected from, 